published over 50 episodes of my new podcast, Diary of an Author, without once having to pick up a mic in months. <laughs> Welcome to my review of Wondercraft AI, the text-to-speech AI tool that I think is so much better than every other AI tool on the market and a absolute must if you are a writer, creator, anybody who has a ton of text and maybe doesn't want to be locked inside of a closet recording on a microphone for all of your content all day and night. Welcome. This review is totally non-biased because as you know, on this channel, I have totally trashed <laughs> AI tools in the past. And this is a tool I have been using for the last about two months. And I can say it is actually the real deal. And I'm going to show you. So if you go to Diary of an Author, which is my podcast, you will see that I have turned my blog archives, which is dozens and dozens, if not over several hundred blogs, um, slowly over time, we're turning them into podcast episodes. And these podcast episodes have been listened to people by people all over the world. They're getting good traction. I'm getting a lot of referrals from these posts to my newsletter. So people are finding me through here. So this has been an amazing tool as a newly launched podcast to give my blog archive a second life as podcast episodes, which is amazing. But this is not the only way that I use this AI tool, Wondercraft AI. If you also go to Diary of an Author, my Substack publication, so they're kind of like sister publications, I have my podcast and then the newsletter. In the newsletter, you'll notice that I have been using um, Wondercraft AI to do my article voiceovers. So I'm going to give you a tutorial on how Wondercraft AI works, how to have it work for you and your content flow when it comes to doing voiceovers for newsletters, YouTube voiceovers, turning blog posts into YouTube videos, um, all of these different things that allow you to give your written content a second life on all of these other platforms. Because one of the ways that you have to market your long form content, like newsletters like me, is to then have it live on as short form content across the internet. And a lot of people prefer to listen to things nowadays rather than to read them, which is why I started doing the article voiceover. And this is why I have about a 49 to 50% open rate for most of my posts on Diary of an Author, because I allow people the opportunity to listen to the post rather than read it. And so for people who don't want to spend time reading and want to put in their headphones and walk around their kitchen or cook stuff or, or do whatever uh, they have that option. So what is Wondercraft AI? So Wondercraft AI is this really cool AI tool where you literally just drop in a sample of your voice and you train the AI model on what your voice is and then you have it spit out audio <laughs> that is written in your voice or sorry, spoken in your voice. And so I'm going to walk you through right now. I'm currently editing a, an ep or an edition for my, an upcoming newsletter. Um, and I'm going to show you what I do to generate my voiceovers and how easy it is to work in Wondercraft AI. If you're already sold on Wondercraft AI, I have an affiliate link down in my YouTube description. You can use my code pseudo 50 S U T O five zero. Uh, to get a discount on your Wondercraft subscription. All the details are in the YouTube description below. Um, but for now, I'm going to show you how it works and you can see for yourself if this, is, if this is something that would help your content workflow so that you can get your work out there as far as possible and to build an audience without having to, like I said, be huddled in a closet <laughs> with a microphone trying to record voiceovers for your newsletter and uh, recording blog voiceovers and to decrease bounce rate and improve your SEO. Like there's so much that you can do with this that takes no time at all. So I'll walk you through it. So the first thing that I do is I have um, a section for my newsletters and my podcast. And so I'll go to my newsletters and I'll hit create a new episode. And I already have the name of the newsletter. So I'll go ahead and copy it here and then paste it here. And because I already have the text already, I say, no, I have a script already. 
And then, so I've uploaded a file to Wondercraft, that was my voice, and so I had a few different tries to see what I liked better. Um, we were able to add some filters to the audio that I uploaded, literally just using my iPhone. <laughs> it was super easy, and then we just cleaned up the audio a little bit in um, another free software. I don't remember which one it was, but it, it enhanced it a little bit to make sure the audio quality sounds good. But you can submit literally to something you record on your iPhone, like there's a lot of like really easy things that you can just upload and it still sounds amazing. Um, so that's the title and then I'm going to copy and paste the subtitle. With Wondercraft if you want to slow down the the way that the text is read you just add three dots. So I do that and as you see up here I have a soundtrack that I've started to include in all of my newsletters. I already have it on the podcast um, and because this is a newsletter voiceover I don't have like my intro is just starting to read the newsletter. Um, and, but I do have the music because I think it's kind of cute. And so when you're copying and pasting things into Wondercraft, you have to get rid of any emojis if you're like me and are an emoji queen <laughs> because I think it will read the emoji out loud. I think they might have fixed that, but um, it's pretty simple. But once again, don't forget to add the three dots if you want it to slow down. And then we're going to hit preview audio. And so as that is generating, I'm going to add another synthetic segment. You can do recorded se segments as well. I'm going to do no music for this because this is going to be the body of the text. And so from there, I would just go and then I would copy this and then paste this in there as well. I'm not fully done with this newsletter. And so once I do finish it, I will, I will add this section into Wondercraft. Um, and then I will add the quotes and the, the journal reflection like I have as well as the upcoming Wednesday edition will be my outro. So um, usually this will be another body thing and then I'll add like another section of the newsletter will be here. And then the outro, once again, I always pick my voice. I will have the, the soundtrack for the outro. And then this will be my voice as well. So that's that, but um, you can hear my voice now. And then if I click play, Diary of an author, three life hacks for more productive writing sessions. And is waking up early really worth it? Like, excuse me, <laughs> that was my voice and this is my voice. <laughs> what I've discovered using Wondercraft, when I started, we've tried other, I say we because my partner Kyle discovered this tool and it has been amazing. Um, we tried other tools, Kyle found other AI tools that are actually more popular than Wondercraft, but are way worse. <laughs> Wondercraft is the real deal when it comes to actually capturing my voice. And when I first heard some of the other tools, I'm like, I can't imagine myself in a million years being okay with this trying to be my voice. But with Wondercraft, like, like even the first few, like few seconds of this, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> this is reading over my newsletter better than I would. And because I have a lot of ums, I say a lot of likes. You can tell on these YouTube videos, like I have a very casual way of speaking. And when I'm trying to record something that needs to be error free, like a podcast or a newsletter, it can sound, it can take me a lot of tries to really make sure that I'm getting every kind of intonation I want and things like that. But the nice thing about Wondercraft is it has the intonation for you. You can hear it fluctuate. Um, and like I said, you can go to my my Substack. You can go to my um, my podcast. I have, I'll have links down below. And you can listen for yourself and see if I sound like the AI version of me. And I think this is such an important tool for writers because this is truly, <laughs> like truly <laughs> the best way to take your long form content and turn it into short form content to reduce bounce rate on your website. Because on my blog, I'm going to be including all of the, the episodes, the podcast episodes, which are the, the spoken version of my blog post to keep people on the page, which continues to boost my rankings on Google and get me higher on web page results, which then means that I get more traffic, more leads, all of that good stuff. And so another sneaky thing that I um, really want to try with Wondercraft that I haven't done yet is an audiobook. So for those of you who don't know, I recently came out with a book, Six Figure Freelance Writer, earlier this year. It has been doing amazing. We like beat the launch month with uh, with book sales uh, last month. And so it was really cool to see like a lot of fervor around that. But I do want to release an audiobook. And I had an option of hiring someone else to do it for me or 
to sit in, like I said, sit in a closet and record <laughs> with the microphone and get over the ums and, and the pauses and try and kind of stay consistent for tens of thousands of words of reading. And I just never had time for that. And so when this tool came along, what we may be exploring, and I'll keep you posted, is potentially using this to do the audiobook. Because if you listen to any of my materials, if you listen to how this came out, it sounds great. I would listen to a whole audiobook with this. And it would be really cool to be able to have it record in my voice without me picking up a microphone because I don't know about you as a content creator, as a writer, as a freelance memoir, ghostwriter and book writer, and I'm also helping people publish books and working on my own. I got a lot going on. I'm also traveling to Peru and Costa Rica soon. I'm going to be doing a four day hike to Machu Picchu. I ain't got time to sit in a closet with a microphone. <laughs> and I say, I've been saying that a lot in this video because that's what a lot of people do. Anyways, so... Once you add all of the, the pieces to each section and you have previewed the audio and then you listen to it and if it sounds good, excellent. You can always hit preview again if there's something that like intonation wise you want the, the software to do differently or take another stab at. You can also go back in and add dots to slow things down. I also love this tool because it helps me do rewrites on my newsletters because hearing it spoken out loud helps me realize when I've misspoke or mistyped something or something isn't really worded very well. So hearing it out loud without me having to read it, like doing this exercise of putting my newsletter into Wondercraft helps me also do an edit through it. So after you click preview and you listen to it and you're happy with every segment, you click generate episode and then it kicks it to the next stage where you can immediately download the file, the audio file. And then another tool that Wondercraft just came up with is that it can also generate a YouTube video um, where you can customize it. So if you want to release your podcast episodes to YouTube and just have a super simple text on screen with your brand colors, your logo, things like that, you can do that with Wondercraft as well. So I'm a huge fan of Wondercraft. I think that um, it's amazing. And like I said, I have an affiliate link down in my description below with all the details about if you want to get um, I think it's 50% off for your subscription using my code SUTO50, S-U-T-O-5-0, or the link below. Uh, it is an affiliate code, so I do earn a commission if you decide to sign up. Thank you for your support uh, of this channel and all of the reviews that I'm doing. And this is such a glowing review, much different than some of my other AI tool reviews because I do think the juice is worth the squeeze on this. <laughs> and I think that the only downsides of Wondercraft is... <sighs> It's kind of amazing and you just need to be using it now. And I wish it had existed earlier. <laughs> it is that good. I am so obsessed with it and I will keep on recommending it to people, especially if you're a writer. And if you are a writer, you should also make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Let me know what other AI tools you're curious about, or other things that you want to learn how to automate. You'll know from my previous post that I have a disclaimer where I think that AI should be kept out of the creation process, but it should be making our life easier as content cre creators and it should be helping to do the heavy lifting of marketing and distributing our di distrib <laughs> wow um, words today I should have had Wondercraft record this um, getting our work out there um, and helping with distribution of our work and any other tools that are any other things that are rote tasks that AI tools should help with like feel free to let me know in the comments what you want me to review try out or what problems you're looking to solve with AI in the workflow around writing around creating because these tools are still trash at creating, but they're wonderful for taking existing written work, existing created work, and having your work be able to reach more people and more eyeballs so that you can grow your community and monetize your work and all that stuff. Thank you much so much for listening. Let me know if you have any questions. This is a super straightforward AI tool and I can't wait to hear what you do with it. Please let me know if you try it out. Would love to hear what your thoughts are and I'll see you in the next one.